Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from Spotted Euros. As you can see, we're already working. There's been plenty of people who have asked, hey, how did that free drive shaft fix go? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so for those who don't know, or maybe haven't seen the uh, earlier video, we, a common problem with these Toreg or the center drive shaft bearing. Now it's not a Toreg thing, honestly this happens to quite a few uh, cars, really anything with that center bearing oftentimes needs to get replaced at some point. So, we decided last time to fix it for free. Um, it, like I said, if you haven't seen that video, the idea is you take some um, hosing, uh, you cut them into about inch sections, um, and you surround the bearing with that because basically what happens is the support around the bearing is what goes, and then uh, you'll start to feel some vibration. So the Toreg that we fixed, or we did the free fix on, is right here. This is our 2009 Volkswagen Toreg TDI. It's coming up on a hundred and uh, well actually there you go it's coming up on two hundred thousand miles so uh, it has been good but we're currently having an issue we're currently having some vibration uh, now it's interesting because it's not quite the same as um, before so when the drive shaft goes bad oftentimes people complain about a knocking and basically what the drive shaft is doing is going around and knocking around the underneath of the car exhaust hanger that kind of stuff so we uh, recently I have definitely noticed that there has been some vibration going on um, there's part of me because it f actually feels quite different it doesn't feel like it did before but there is a vibration going on um, and uh, I can feel it it's kind of on the low end I can feel it and then right about at 75 miles an hour on the freeways where I can feel it again between there it's not too bad so anyway, so part of me was like, well, maybe it's a wheel, um, but the uh, steering wheel, the steering wheel is not shaking at all. It could be a wheel in the back, but you know, I've checked all the lug nuts and I've, I've inspected it. It all seems normal. So in my mind, and hopefully, uh, I mean, basically we're going to uh, switch this out. But uh, hopefully this solves the problem. And if it doesn't, I'll definitely let you guys know. And maybe we've got another issue. But in my mind, it makes a lot more sense to say, okay, we've recently kind of, uh, kind of fixed the center wheel bearing or center uh, drive shaft bearing. And, uh, and now we're getting a vibration. My money is on the bearing. Um, so good news is, check it out. This is uh, the Toreg, Toreg Garage, I guess. So, as you can see here, this is a 2005 Toreg. Oh, I love this car so much. It is near perfect. Sorry, it's dark out. Um, and if I open the door, the lights don't turn on. It's got a dead battery. So, I will link this car. If you haven't seen this car, or you haven't seen the videos, um, check this one out. There, there's a couple of videos on this. Um, picking this car up was was a blast, <laughs> sort of. At least the video came, turned out pretty good. But this thing is in mint condition, and uh, it's got every option possible on these Toregs. But it's got a problem, and it's in this region. This is the drive shaft out of the V8. And as you can see, this will, this bearing here seems to be plenty good. Uh, I drove that car all the way back from Seattle and didn't feel anything as far as vibration. So uh, my money is that is just fine. It does seem like someone was underneath here um, to fix this. And, uh, you know, bolts were changed. I could see the exhaust had come off. The only thing that I just kind of realized is this right here. It could be that they uh, took this apart 
and put a new one on, which uh, I almost want to say because there's nicks and stuff going on here, and that would only really happen, I'm thinking, if uh, the bearing went bad and they, uh, they fixed this, because all this actually looks good, but you can kind of see why this fails. I mean, this is like nothing in here. So here's the, here's where the bearing is right here in the center. Now if I, I move that, see this has got like absolutely no, no play in it. That's the only thing that's kind of concerning is that there, it could be thrown off anyway. So. That's what's kind of concerning about this is there is no play at all. As far as the fix that we did, um, it doesn't seem to be moving. Now it could be rubbing or it could be maybe the bearing inside is spinning kind of thing. But I mean, honestly, that's tighter than than even the, the stocks one, it seems like. So let's... Uh, Let's take this apart. But there you can see the fix. So all the hoses going around it and then uh, zip ties holding it together. And uh, it actually looks, uh, it looks just fine in there. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm noticing is there could be, the bearing itself could be failing. The only thing, the, there's a little bit of play back and forth. Okay, so you can't really tell any difference, but here's our fix. Um, hopefully uh, when I swap this out, like I said, we get rid of the vibration that I was experiencing. I'm doing a separate video on replacing this, but uh, getting this back half off, uh, was tricky but I figured out a way to uh, to get it off a lot easier so luckily for those watching this who are about to do this uh, you'll have that tip okay we are done we are on the ground let's hope we did this right It's going in reverse. It's a good sign. It is going in drive. We are moving forward. Okay guys, here we go. It's gonna be hard, obviously, for you guys to tell. There is 75. 80, 85, 90, and uh, I'm not feeling any vibration. The thing that's kind of throwing me off is that car seat in the back is making noise. But yeah, I really don't feel it. Definitely not compared to before. These tires are getting a little worn out, so uh, I think there might be a slight vibration just coming from that. But uh, definitely looks like we fixed the problem. Okay guys, we are back. The test is complete and guess what? We fixed it. So uh, I knew that vibration had to have been coming from the drive shaft. Unfortunately, um, our free fix was only free or only really worked for about 3,000 miles. It got us by, but I think this right here is what was causing the play. So like I said, if you're in a pinch or if you're waiting for a part to come in uh, from, um, uh, you ordered a part and you're waiting for it to come in, uh, that would be a great solution. If you're in an emergency situation and you need to uh, support that so you can drive home, that works as well. In-laws house, you know, whatever it is, uh, it definitely is a solution that can uh, get you home or can get you by for a couple thousand miles. Um, maybe even depending on, on where you're driving and what you're doing, it might even last a little bit longer. 
But uh, anyway guys, there it is, there's the update. Uh, still got the Toreg, love this thing. Uh, we're at 193,000 miles um, and uh, still going strong. But anyway, thanks guys, thanks for watching.